36 past 6. It's a Saturday evening and I am about to open a homebrew and I know I did this last night on the daily vlog and I said that I'm gonna have a beer sometimes Friday, Saturday and Sunday. So it's that time of the evening. If, if you're chilling and relaxing, you'd probably be doing the same thing that I'm doing right now, heading to the fridge to crack open a homebrew. But I do have to say, I copped uh, some flack for opening or pouring the beer incorrectly last time. And that's because you need two hands to do it. And I couldn't do that if I'm vlogging, right? I've, I've got one hand on the camera, one hand on the beer, so you can't actually pour it correctly. This time I've come prepared. I'm gonna put you down and I'm gonna open, wait a sec, I'm gonna get myself a glass first. I've come prepared. I'm gonna pop the camera down. I'm gonna pour it correctly to prove the head on this beer. So you're gonna stay right there. This is where I've worked out is the best spot for this to happen. The bottle opener is right here. This is the beer in question. Cooper's Real Ale. I even made a marking where I should put all this. That's how professional I am at this. Now, ready for that. Beautiful. Tilt the glass, pour the beer, lift it slightly. Get a bit of head on there. Watch this. Look at that. <whistles> looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> it tastes even better than it looks. Hallelujah. Now, I was talking today, or not talking, I made a post on Scenic Beers, the Facebook group, not the YouTube channel that I have, which has kind of failed. No one seems to want to upload videos to YouTube aside from me and my YouTube friends. But um, the Facebook group, Scenic Beers, that my friend Paul Baker runs, I uploaded an image of this sitting outside at the sunset yesterday. And um, Paul put up a comment saying you should try these other homebrew manufacturers. They're called ESB. ESB homebrew. And they have a fresh, fresh wort. Now the wort is the mix. I use, I can show you what I use actually, to make my homebrew. Oh, you've seen them. You've seen me make my homebrews. I've made them on the vlog plenty of times. I use this stuff here like a pre-packaged, pre-canned syrup. That's my next one, by the way. That's a Cooper's Pale Ale. And yeah, Paul was saying that you probably should try ESB Live, what is it called, Live Wort? Live Wort, yeah, it was live, wasn't it? Was it live or fresh? It's either fresh or live, one or the other. The only catch with that is, what I can see, is that it only makes it says mix it, the can, so the canister that you get is 15 litres and you add 5 litres of water, so you're only getting 20 litres. My guy makes 40 litres of beer, so double that. And this ESB one is $45, whereas those guys are 10 bucks a can. So the whole idea with homebrew is to make a good beer and make it cheap. If you start racking up the bill, you might as well go and buy a long neck of Cooper's Stout. That's my opinion anyway, which I, I have done and you've seen that and I enjoy it. But I do love the taste of homies. Or 